It's a good thing. Okay. So we have, let's talk about our journeys for a sec. We'll go back a few years ago, waiting up to this moment, the section. We've cleared a lot of darkness off this planet. <laughs> We cleared up the tunnels. I'm sure a lot of people did, but like the tunnel systems with the uh, draconians, right? Mm -hmm. Cleared out a draconian base in the portal of the North Pole that Source told us. And then after we Google it, and somehow NASA discovers this portal in the, to the inner Earth of the North Pole. When we went in there, it had so many tunnels. In, there's ships, there were ships that were in there and that uh, energy technology that they had so they could track people's energy because that's how they would come back to us. So then we learned how to cloak from them by putting on a, an energy shield. Uh, what else did we do? Um, we finished off uh, the Orion Wars. Uh, they cleansed the darkness out of there. The dark, the dark queen got her out of Earth. That was a secret one that we didn't broadcast on this. Yeah. yeah. We lifted the vibration of the water. Yeah. yeah. One number of times. A number of times yeah. we did that. Yeah. Um, we went to an old palladium planet that we were from <clears throat> and we connected the pegasus constellation for, for light body activations all across the planet mm -hmm. and i will never forget that because as soon as i seen that thing shoot the planet boom i got hit i was like whoa oh that was cool we also uh released the trauma of atlantis the planet and that's where I connected to the Andara crystals, which I didn't even know existed. Uh, quite exciting. And also uh, the grid work we did with Lauren and I connected to Ever the crystal source being that's one of the yeah. aspects. Well, yeah. what people don't realize, these are all shocks I don't expect to do. <laughs> I don't expect these. So the journey goes and we don't know where it goes. It can yeah. Change. yeah. And that pyramid in the sky, the yeah. glass crystal. Sort of one. Someone's actually told me that that's a that's a port, a, a gateway. Uh, I can't remember what they said, but someone's actually told me recently it is such a pyramid that they they recognise it and it's like a gateway. Um, yeah, I've I've gone there to view timelines so many times. It's a very interesting place. And it's connected to uh, the Celestial Pyramid Network. Yeah. It, uh, it's one of the ones that shoots out Christ consciousness. Uh, mm. it's, it's the only pyramid that I actually know that does that. It shoots out Christ consciousness out of the top. All the other ones <clears throat> were, it's like on Earth anyways, and a lot of the other ones, the Celestials, it's either a purple light. Uh, recently, I think it's been upgraded to like a rainbow energy, but the golden light pyramid is that Celestial one. That one's a special pyramid for sure. The grid works. Sometimes the grid's been under attacks. We've gone in to clear out the grids. We've encountered archons. We've, we've caught a few of them. Sent them back to source for reunification. So many entities. Mm. So, many, so many unusual ones. Yeah. Oh man. Um, I've been I've been to Orion three times. I don't need to go on holiday anymore because I'm too scared to go on holiday. <laughs> uh, all that work on Orion is um, I think I got some messages that is is totally at peace now. Like the, the whole the the surround with the lion ships, everything's there's a peace in the universe now. Uh, there's, so there's no more um, like galactic battles going on. And then we got that last mission we did, 
we got to participate in the whole Earth Ascension event with the Galactics. That was just awesome. I, I uh, during the healing event, I did. I had to go back to Orion because it, they'd employed mercenaries to do some work, and they were still doing a bit of work on there, but they were using mercenaries from the other side of the planet. Uh, I went there and I brought back some uh, gooey spiders, black gooey spiders. That obviously, luckily, one of the healers at the healing centre I go cleared it from me. I, I, I forgot to cleanse. <laughs> I, I forgot to ground and cleanse because we sometimes you just forget that sort of thing. We discovered the infinity portal together. Remember that? Yeah. All of a sudden, that rainbow portal, and I was like, it hey, we goes into every timeline and reality. We also went to the, did we go to the crystal dimension or the crystal planet? I forget which one. Well, it's because it's both. There was the crystal planet and the crystal dimension. Yeah. And some of the beings were not fully crystal. They were a bit like our structure, but with crystal. So yes, they, they were like turning into us. Like we like to turn into crystalline. They were doing like the opposite, which is quite fascinating. It could have been on an earlier path because when you're at the higher vibrations of source, you have to lower your vibrations for further experience. Obviously, if we're on Earth, we've had to lower it in so many different levels to be able to experience this, right? Yeah. We uh, we got a we got the crystal from there, didn't we? And we put it into we merged it into the crystalline uh, the energy from there, if I remember. Yeah, there was a big mission. Oh, yeah, and we went there for the uh, uh, Crystal Rainbow Pyramid to uh, yeah. the, the, the whole Ryan mission. Um, we, we did a mission, I remember, around the presidential campaign, uh, clearing out the energies of New York and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. and that's when we first became aware of the horsemen. The horsemen came. Four horsemen just came out of nowhere. Mm. That was interesting. It was definitely a confirmation of the end of times. Uh, sure. Oh, what else do we do? There's so much. Yeah, and then uh, so we're going to do a, a pre warm up. We don't know what's going to happen here, right? Mm. I'm going to bet on that. Possibly the tree of life and the goddess of the sea, of the healing sea, of the goddess of earth, and the same thing. Possibly. All right. All right, let's just connect. So I'll connect my pillar light. It's light. It's light. It's light. So always have one half of the plan here. And I seem to always have the other half. Mm. Just how that works. I, I'm getting the dragons to do with coming on this one with us. Uh, so what I what I was getting was to merge the frequencies mm. of the tree of life in the angelic realm at the twelfth frequency of the twelfth dimension. Um, and bring it right into the inner earth uh, tree of life so we can see what the goddess is doing there. So we'll connect fields of light just with intention. We'll merge with the Har universal harmonic frequency 12. Access the 12th 
dimension, an angelic realm, to the highest level of this universal structure. Master Dragon is for first assistance here is to guide us in Dragon Consciousness. James, I'm getting the East such a world as a magic planet. Well, that's up to you. Don't. That might be Tuesday night. Where Merlin got his uh, power from. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, this is really big, <clears throat> really big energies here. It just looks like energies, but they're going to put ascended master hearts to make it visible to us like within this tree in this frequency it's obviously a golden light frequency we're just going to connect our hearts with the tree of life's heart of the ascended master heart that's the Elohim archangels and this tree of life we'll go into it right into the heart portal of it There's a lot of green energies within it um, we're healing the core Guys, heart center. And we'll just be the conscious of this tree, merge the frequencies, the consciousness of this tree, all the unconditional love and the healing attributes, the universal knowledge, missing genes for all the missing. Light strands that everybody needs. And just create a portal to shoot this strand of light right into uh, Stonehenge, right? Yeah. So, how are we going to take this down? Are we going inside the tree of life? Yeah. Yeah, because. So we're gonna integrate these frequencies within our heart. Energy code, uh, knowledge, light. And then we're gonna merge. And also, we're going to invite the collective parts. They're going to need this for their awakenings. So we're just going to merge with the field of the collective heart. So our field is going to be one, and the collective field is going to be one. So we'll create a middle field, and we're just going to take that middle field with us. Go right straight through the portal of Stonehenge, right in this frequency. It's a green, it's a green frequency. Gold, golden and green light. We're just gonna bring it through Stonehenge. We can ride in our dragons. Heaven, heaven, the galactics are gonna assist us here. They're connecting our consciousness with, with our field to bring to all on Earth here. It's like a big ball of light in front of us, and we're just gonna force it right in, go right through the portal, through the gates, the earth, golden gates of Middle Earth, on the river Nile, straight to the tree of life, to the heart, the tree of life and inner earth. Insert this frequency right into it, this big ball of light. The collective field.
so that kind of pulses out the top of the tree. Towards, I guess, it's totally definitely totally different now. There's elves. There's elves and they're coding it within the tree. And they're coding the energy that's their ground in it. So it's pointing through to the chakras of the earth. Creating an interesting circular rainbow like hue. Almost like that uh, when the sun has that. So really rainbow around it. But, uh, it's around it's around the earth. It's like a halo of the earth in that frequency in a way. Runs in the air. I've been guided to use the sea of light, uh, the sea on the underworld, the uh, angelic sea, to give everyone some uh, upgrade their energies. Can you have the frequency get increasing? I, I can feel it. It's trying to tune into this goddess now. She's with Gaia. They are energy. She's merging with Gaia. <clears throat> These frequencies that we're putting into our hands right now. We're bringing in <clears throat> other frequencies here. You see, we got that. Oh, in the white. I don't know if you're seeing this. She's got a staff. I've never seen that. I think she's going to energize us. Nice. Oh, yeah, I like those whole smokes. I don't know if coming in that crazy right now. We're bringing this to all the forests, all the other. Anyone watching this, just, just connect to our uh, chakras. You can feel the energy in here. That Sophia, she's merging with us. Oh my god! Whoa. Okay. Oh, she's sending this to all the chakras too, helping to integrate the frequency. Just got way more intense. I've actually got pain in my heart chakra, so I think I'm getting released some energy.
Anyone feel this? Just do big breaths if you feel pain. Yes, but this emerald dragon is like golden with emerald eyes, like just powerful. Whoa, setting the flame through <laughs> this is nuts, dude. Right up into the grids. Oh my god, this is like the highest price of light. Whoa, that is nuts. Whoa. Okay, that was just crazy. It's going through the galactic grids as well. Planetary frequencies are receiving this. It's just going through the whole universe. The Stargate, so that makes sense because of the Stargate. Yeah, right. Stargate's a real network. It's going to complete all gene sequences for anything that was left. Because via codes. Whoa. Oh, this is so weird, man. man so if you're going to with us with this. Ah, uh, oh, that's great. That's great. This is some of the science of evolution. So then, creating the rainbow bridges for all these frequencies. Just creating the rainbow bridges for all the frequencies. So they're so they're just working at the higher levels of all the dimensions, uh, filling in the voids of the frequencies and everything. What? Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, that is deadly. Uh, it's the outer bridge, the 12th dimensional. It's not the galactic ones, but the outer, the outer grids. <clears throat> Zeus is sending blue light throughout, clearing the frequencies of the other grids, raising the vibrations. Because the outer grid's got to receive this upgrade as well. This is just to put some pockets of control. Just clean them out. I just need a little boost. Uh, a little diamond blue ray, a little diamond blue lightning. I'm getting violet flame as well. Great to the outer group. Powering up. Oh my God. Pure source lightning. Wow. That's going to be a lot of power. Wow, the Rainbow Collective, they're charging through here, the Galactics, they're part of it. Um, it's coming out of their energy, they're sending it through their heart chakra. It's infusing everything with Rainbow energy. It's going on, complete universal upgrade. Can you see all the dragons around? Just this, everything. There's just everything. Every consciousness you can imagine. Yeah. It's here. The guardians. The guardians of the nine realms are here. Uh, the guardians. 
for actually assisting. Whoa, pure rainbow heart energy. Wow, that is insane. So this is just going to be something all casual. It's a great time. You're assisting all. You're assisting you. It's just everyone. As Earth ambassadors, bringers of light, you've done so well. Shift within yourselves. Shift the realities of others. Shift the, shifting the grids into your universal structure. And we're working now collaboration. Shift all, all of shifting the entire universe. The black grids, Gaia's core, the universal grids at the outer core of this universal system. We are the guardians of the nine realms. Stoey, Atubu, Atubi, Ashtar, Anunnaki, Selsu, Jinawa, 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 Jinawa. Peace, peace, peace. It's all coming through. Get on it, upon you. We are going to continue to help them in the astro when we're sleeping. This is going to go on for days. You're going to be tired and fully charged at the same time. This is a big shift on Gaia. As you are aware, you're assisting well. You are honored. You're the heart chakras of all, for all the work you've done. Anyone watching this, that your vibration could be lifting, you could be in pain. It's just, just accept it. It's like your body's becoming crystalline a bit. Gifts, sound consciousness, the seven cents for your heart chakra. Assist you to expand more. You are perfect. Your expansion is great. You will become better. Your intuitive abilities. Your awareness, your transformation as masters, leaders in the world, showers of light. Ourselves, all is one. We bid you peace, the hearts of all. On your planet, there's a glowing moment. We'll continue to expand to all shifts. We'll soon see. We'll soon see the support that you have. Give you two eyes. Be ready for this all. Just be with you. Let's go up to Gaia. This needs to go up to Gaia. Um, all right, so let's just go back through the portal. Back to the portal, the Stonehenge. Just call back our consciousness from the 12th frequency. Calling back our consciousness is that Stonehenge here. It's going to stay at Stonehenge. Calling back our consciousness surrounded with light beams. Calling back our consciousness to this now moment. 
on merging with the 12th, then Hashman 12 being universal frequency 12, on merging, on merging, on merging. And just allow our higher self emotional group to continue to finish the integration across all systems. And we'll ground these frequencies, breathing them in. As we all get upgraded, exhaling out the soles of our feet, grounding all this energy right into Gaia, grounding them all to Gaia. Seems to be revealed. It's approaching the time for all our members approaching. Those who are aware, they will remember. Those who are aware, they will have to work. I'm actually going to be using my hands to ground this as well, sending it out my hands because there's just so much frequency and light. Face drag to the She says it's always on the way out part. Out part. Out part. Out part. Out part. Out part. This has some attention it's for everybody here for all this because there's so much energy for it to integrate with peace and grace. What I'm getting, David, is the early, like the Pyramid Network. The crystalline, the Andara crystals, the grids are all connecting. This is not this has not happened since uh, Earth got took over. This is an insane, an insane activation. But just everybody just keep focusing on sending the light through your feet or your hands straight into Gaia. All excess energy, all these codes anchoring into Gaia. It's the pyramid networks and gars, inner earth crystals, the whole structure. Flowing through. Light. Fire light. It's fire light. This must be from the dragons. The dragon fire. Yeah, must be. It looks like a. Uh, What color can you say? Uh, it, it, it is like a um, pastel white. Um, it's bright. It looks like a sash. And um, there's, like, there's flame energy in it. And it's just burning hot. Anyone taking like, part in this? The yeah. color will be different to each person. I think. Yeah. I was just tuning into one. There's golden ones too. Um, there's all these, they're all different colors, really. There's pink. Mine's is uh, like an orangey red. It's interesting to see millions of them everywhere. But I guess the light transferring through grids, there's just so much activity right now. So I just thought that was interesting. It's so many of them. What I'm trying to do, David, after this event is to nip on the dragons, the dragons can create a portal using their play. Go to the magic eye uh, planet and collect the magic spark. So we, we have a magic spark similar to Merlin's. You want to channel in the magic spark? I want to go there. <laughs> Pick it up. 
we said Stonehenge, so we can talk on dragons and head out there. Yeah. Open a portal to the dragon dimension or to the magic dimension. <clears throat> it's kind of where the highest beings of the universe go to train with magic. And obviously, magic can manifest. You know, I've never known that the dragons can create portals you've met by till tonight. It looks like it's like a. Uh... So strange, it keeps changing colors. All right, well, let's just land on it. Magic spark if I can play inside a cave. We just got located. It's a coincidence that it's a purple flame. <laughs> probably where Saint Germain got it from. Yeah, he probably would have got it from there. To just get it is to speak a language, a tongue or white language. So anyone with looking at this, you can get the magic shot, but don't throw the earth. So strange. Who are you? Who are you? Magic. The flame is like alive, it's a live being. I think we've passed what they've accepted to give it us. We're going to show them our hearts. There's a lot of people that are just like, what the heck are you guys doing here? Started out with a snake lady. And this big D. Pass You've That's seen right. images of beings in the flame. Oh, in the flame. Yeah. Is purified. Okay, so it's not actual beads. It's just connected to people who have used this before. I was going to say that, yeah, all the ones who've got the spot. Oh. 
all the ones who have got the spark are guardians of the flame. Wow. Basically, everyone who's used it is check checks the next person to get it to see if they're worthy. So many beautiful beings who use this before. Our chakras, like versus, uh, I guess ours are too. This is probably just can't see it. Let's return. Let's return back to Earth. Just show our gratitude. Uh, let's bring in as many use and keys we hold for anybody who wants to uh, experience Earth. Let's write our codes. Gifts. Some gifts. It's done. All right, so returning back, portal back to the Milky Way galaxy. Interesting. Right back there, closing the portal behind us after the three of the dragons. Members of the Earth Alliance with us. I guess they just came for backup support. I was good to have our backs covered. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Let's go back to uh, it's called. Let's go back, just bring in our dragons and bring us back to where we are right now. So wherever you are in the world, just call yourself back, your dragons will take you back. All your energies with the gifts. Right. Sure it has many names. We need to anchor and ground when we get them. After all that ground, so it's going to breathe in again. Exhale. Yeah, my light. What? That is strange. I just became aware of a dimension that's just above Earth, where ascended tree conscious is. Like trees that have ascended the conscious. They are manifesting into light beings. Maybe they always were. Okay, so they spent a lot of years uh, connected to everything of the earth. Be able to, come to, to be able to come back is what not the earth. As we are becoming, as we are ascending. We have experienced everything on earth. So we're ready for more new experiences. Ones that we've done before and ones that we've not done. So when anyone's ready, just come present in yourself. Just become present in yourself. Centered in yourself. Aware where you are, aware that you are at home, and where you are. Become aware of it. Just wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes. And when you are ready to open your eyes, never a dull moment, man. That was supposed to be just a, a little play for Tuesday. <laughs> oh, right. That might as well have been Tuesday. Sheesh. <laughs> Good planet, though. Uh, 
It's a good thing we did a pre plan. We go in there on Tuesday as well, or being some alcohol? I have no idea. <laughs> that was insane how much weight that was. You got a, my in, buzzing in my head's gone well. I, I can just about hear you. And I've got pains in my back and my, my heart chakra was quite painful during that. That's probably because you did clearing just before this. Eh? Mm. You can imagine as you're getting fully clear, you're taking on all this light. Man, you just have on some crazy light on top of it all. I can't even imagine how you're feeling. It's a whole other level of coolness to the adventure. That's quite amazing. That's probably one of the best. <laughs> People have seen this might not think it, but I think that was one of the best for energies anyway. Yeah, for sure. But when you yeah. said this face is being, I saw the beings in the frame and I've never seen some are weird. There's this uh, blue scaly lady that um, was like a snake lady. And she's on the planet and uh, she's like, what are you doing with this? Right? Like questioning me. I was like, what? <laughs> Who are you? And uh, I guess she was a protector, protector that like, you just can't come here and take it this. And then this uh, huge consciousness of that planet, this huge male, male consciousness is like, just look like a huge Titan energy. Looks at me and asks me the same question. And I'm like, are we not allowed to take this? She says, you have to prove that you're worthy. Show us your heart. So I showed him both our hearts, like our collective heart feel because we were merged. So we'll unmerge now and then we'll unmerge with everybody else. Um, showed him our collective heart. And then he said, yeah, you're, you're worthy to take this one. So anyone watching it, they might get it, they might not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the draw. Interesting dragon, the green one. Yeah, that's Sophia Dragon. It's crazy. Man. Oh my God. And her and herself. It was like she merged with me, but she's got this dragon aspect at the same time. It merged with me at the same time. I'm sure you felt that too. Yeah, we both got dragon aspects. And I've been told that the aspects are one of the early ones before humanity and before the angelics and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Old, old, old souls. Cool though. I was a I'm sure anybody who watches the tags on and this is just gonna be like what? <laughs> we did two events then, didn't we? Or maybe three. Well that's what if anyone's watching, that's what happens to these events. We don't know ourselves where it goes. Oh, it's really funny it's like we never know what's going to happen but he always has half of the puzzle and i always have the other half and it's and they always like i can't tell you how many times that we both channel the other half of the puzzle and it's, and it's a complete mission like it's, mm -hmm. it's like it was like it was always meant to be you're probably my twin flame that's why <laughs> so, well, glad that uh you're on the other side. I'm just kidding. Glad <laughs> that you're on the other side of the planet. No, I'm <laughs> That's okay, man. No yeah, yeah. I'm making you laugh anyway. Yeah. Um, it's been amazing. The adventures we've gone on. Holy smokes. Yeah, by the way, you know how we we work on the Galactic Tower aspect? I think we're on the Adromeda team. I think we work oh, on yeah. the same space. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, so anyone listening, you could have aspects that are alive now on Earth. You could have two or three of them. Yeah, yeah it's quite possible. Mm. It's quite possible. Lily, are you worried about the fudgicles? <laughs> <laughs> wants to tell me something. What did you say, Lilies? What did you say? Okay. 
Yeah, I might have to go attention on the shark. Are we setting the recording off? <laughs>